Hello everyone, welcome to Prison Architect. This is a video for release update 2.0. Uh, this is the final content update for Prison Architect. They said they'll do stuff, you know, like bug fixes and whatnot, but this is going to be the last of the new content added. So, if you saw my other video about a month ago, um, as of this recording, that had some of the other new features in the game, like new events or some new items, stuff like that, that's all still here, but they did add some new options in the game. And it's called Developer Tools and Sheets. And so to get to that, you have to make a new prison. You can't bring it up in an older prison, you gotta make a new one. So, what you do is you go to Create New Prison. We'll turn some of that stuff off. We'll have unlimited money just for this. And then, Enable Tools and Sheets. And you can't get achievements and stuff like that um, when you have that mode active, but... I got a notebook page already. That's what, um, that's how you get to that. So, when you're in this mode, a couple things that are different. First of all, stuff will be built instantly. So as you can see, I just built this little random room here. It's already set to go. Stuff gets build, built right away. Uh, same thing like, you know, for quick build, we'll build a canteen, kitchen, some offices. We'll do some shared cells, why not? As you can see, all of this stuff is done instantly. And it's the same for utilities. As soon as you start building them, they get put right down. So if you just want to test some stuff out, you know, maybe test out a couple builds or something. As you can see, stuff will get done. Get built right away in this mode. Also over here you can see the spawn button. This will s has all the options of every spawnable item in the game. Some of these I don't know if they're actually in the live game or not. Like some of these I don't really recognize. Like where is it? There was a boom box I saw earlier. Um, there might be some stuff on like the cutscenes and whatnot. But anything you could possibly want should be in this menu. Now another thing is when you're in this menu, some weird shadows going on, um, you can move stuff around. So we can move those beds, that toilet can move, that door can move. Um, if there were trees over here you could move the trees as well. So stuff can be moved around when you're in that menu. And when you spawn stuff from this menu, like, oh, who, what should we spawn? We'll do some trees because that's easy. Oh, there's going to be the seeds. So if you hold it down and you just click it, they'll all just continue to spawn like that. You can spawn as many as you want. You can spawn NPCs. You can have a bunch of accountants. You can have parole officers. All this stuff as you hold it down. And I see it'll move around too as you do it. Um, you can spawn as many as you want. There's no real rules for that. Same thing as you see, there's fire here. And fire will move stuff around too a bit. As you can see, see how it's kind of moving stuff around? So it is considered an item, so it will kind of move stuff around like that. So, And then it'll just burn like regular fire. I wonder if you can... Okay, yeah, you can. Even if it's already going, you can move it around too. The fire. So all the options, all the stuff in the game. You can move him there just for fun. You can move them around in that uh, option there. Now, we're going to load a prison. This is a cheat one that I did earlier. Just a very quick one to kind of show off some of the stuff that you can do. Um, so, again, here's spawn mode. We can move these trees if we want. We have those options. So, they also added stuff for the F keys, F1 through 9, and then F11. So, F11, if you hit that will expand your prison in all directions. So you have a much bigger prison now. Do it again, it gets bigger. So that's what F11 does. F1 is stuff like options in the game. So if you hit game over, your game will actually end like if you lost it. So you can enable games if you want. You can enable misconduct if you want so all your prisons can be well behaved if you want to you know, just 
do whatever. You can turn needs on and off, escape tunnels on and off. There's stuff like weather that's already kind of in the game. You can also do stuff like test their needs. So let's say hygiene. So we're having the hygiene need. Having kind of, this just maxing out on its own. So if you look, where's hygiene? Hygiene should be going up. And see what they're doing is because they all have showers in their cells and their showers over here, they're able, able to, I think, open the door, get those needs satisfied. Same thing with hunger, sleep, comfort, whatever. So you can test stuff that way if you want. And that should go back down again once that gets fixed. Doors on lockdown, lethal force, women's prison. Uh, maybe just suddenly get women intake instead of men if it's already going on. So there's a whole bunch of options you can do in this menu. And then F9 is some options like stats here. You can see, whoops, I hit F1 there. I meant to hit 1. If you go over to the inmates, you can see what all of their stats are. So I see how that guy's bladder's kind of high, his comfort's kind of high. If they get too high, it'll start flash at you. But that's one option to kind of see what their stats are. Needs provider kind of shows you what each item will satisfy what need. Dangerous sectors shows you water, stuff like that. You can turn off some options for kind of just cosmetics like you know, soft edges. You can see how it goes from grass to dirt very sharp. You soften up, kind of looks a little bit more natural. Stuff like that, like shadows. Shows you all the contraband. And again, this prison's kind of new and it's kind of wonky, so there's not a whole lot of stuff. Black and white. A whole bunch of stuff to play around with. You can have roofs, but I think we have Fog of War turned off, so that's not going to be an option. But there are actual roofs that come up. I'm kind of covered so you can't see anything, really. Um, escape map and dig map. So the dig map's kind of neat because it'll show you which way the tunnels will be dug. So if they start digging, like say, at this toilet, they're going to go right, 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 and then up to here, and then they're just going to go up. And that's how it figures out which way to dig when they're digging tunnels and stuff. And of course, you know, there's a whole other options. Here's all the different icons and stuff for each one. So a lot to play around with. Sound editor. Whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know what most of this stuff is. Um, I think maybe, you know, maybe people who do a lot of mods might be able to kind of figure some of this stuff out. So there's a lot to play around with. Another thing I forgot to show, if you go to materials, a new one is water. And what you can do is actually have water spawn as a material. And once you spawn water, it really won't go away. So you kind of want to be careful with that one. But now, boom, you got a lake. So there's a whole bunch of stuff to play around here. This is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. I know a lot of people who know more about this type of stuff, like, you know, with the different icon editors, the sprite editors, sound editors. And there's a lot of fun people can have with this stuff, stuff that is just, I'll admit, it's just beyond me. Um, I kind of just like looking around at different maps, different layovers. You can see, like, here you can see the utilities without having to go in the utility mode. So there's some pretty cool stuff. And that's about it for release update 2.0. So this is probably going to be the last one of these videos for me as well, because I kind of like to do, or just kind of cut to the days. They talk a lot in theirs and some good information, but I have to kind of just get down to it, kind of show all the new stuff and you can go from there. So this will probably be the last one of these for me as well. So as always, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoy and I do hope to see you next time.